Uchenduka is my name. I write poetry. I'm originally from Nigeria, so this sort of fight is not new to me. I lived under dictatorships, tyranny, for at least 26 years of my life. And I find it trying and challenging that once again, I'm being called upon to fight such atrocity. Nobody should accept fascism. What is coming upon us, nobody should take it for granted. And I feel the fight should be on all fronts. The allies, whoever we meant to be our allies, should not just be artists. We should find mobilizers, those who can do street work, those who can just, just uh, do something beyond posti uh, painting the posters, and those who can do what? Bring the fresh ideas. Because if we still use just the normal so-called leftist tactics, it might not work this time. We need fresh thinking and fresh action. But most of all, not to be afraid of anyone. I would like to read out just two pieces briefly. They're from a book called If Only the Night. A scene. A black man in a black car, in a black rain. I watch him braiding the blends of black roads, leaving that crocheting without a thought, exactly as it has been done. Off ground, uphill. A black man in a black room, in a black house, in a black street. I see him inching to a world's edge, at the street level, at the gut level of militant particulars. Fela and Nicola Pocuti, or Bob Marley, or Paul Robson, battling man made eclipses, cropping, root working. For outriders, second one. Enough for the discarded night. Enough for the overblown head stuff. Enough for the acidic night. Enough for the thought of night. Enough for the silly ease of night. Enough for the overstretched card. Enough for the shuffle in a night scene. Enough for the holy smoke of a phrase. Enough for the oval crisis of night. Enough for the breaking vase of night. Enough for the night's chocolate uniform. Enough for the night moving through a sentence. Enough for the tongue flag of night. Enough for the march thrown for a night march. Thank you.